What's up? What's up, everybody? <laughs> Good morning. Shit. God damn it. We in Man, it's crazy out here. Illinois, Chicago, man. It's ugly. Illinois is ugly under siege right now, man. Below zero temps. All this snow. People can't get out, man. It is what it is. We snowed in, Joe. Um, first thing I want to say, man, is, you know, make sure you have Twitter. Um, so you can keep up with the news all night. That's just how it is. You know, if you ain't hawking it, you know, hawking Twitter, then, you know, it's it's going to be ugly for you. You got to do that. Now, you need to be following fantasy, at Fancy Labs NBA to get all the latest news and the updates. Now, uh, and when you roster, when, you, when, you, when you're doing your roster construction, make sure you uh, keep in mind that you might have to make pivots, you know, uh, later in the, um, later in the uh, day. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this video. Uh, thank you to my subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough. Shout out to the people over there in, uh, uh, fan group, in my group, FanDuel group, man. They're doing a wonderful job, man. I love it. Uh, and without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, and like I say, just keep in mind, man, uh, the slate doesn't start until an hour or two before lock. That's when all the news come out, man. All the research you do. Throughout the day can be gone by gone down the drain with uh, a few uh, injury updates and late scratches. Um, last night I did okay. I uh, did good on DraftKings, did good on FanDuel. That's good. Uh, cashing on, cashing everywhere. So uh, it is what it is. Let's jump right into it. We got six games. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let me see. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, we got six games starting off with Denver and Boston. Uh, Denver is and Boston, you know, they're riddled with injuries. Uh, Marcus Smart, uh, Will Barton, Paul Millsap, uh, Gary Harris, uh, Monty Morris with the shoulder sporting a Q tag, Daniel Tice sporting a Q tag. Uh, those have been out, and that's it for the significant injuries. Um, going up right off the back, um, I like Jokic, uh, Yoke, the Joker, you know, it is what it is with him. Uh, he's definitely in play. Jamal Murray can see some extra run. I like his matchup going against, uh, Kimba Walker. So he's somebody that's in play for me. Uh, you'll get him a little bit cheaper, uh, 700 cheaper on FanDuel. Um, Michael Porter Jr., he needs a good right spot, man. Um. He's just not been playing like he's, you know, like he's been playing when he's playing at his peak. Uh, but, you know, he the minutes will be there for him. Uh, he's priced decent on both sides. Under 6 k at 5800 on DraftKings. On FanDuel, you'll get him for $5,500. Uh, Jermichael Green should, should get the start. And they're very thin uh, in the absence of, of Millsap and Barton. So, you know, look for a Jermichael Green to start. Uh, his price same, similar on both sides. I don't mind that play. Um, and then you got guys like RJ Hampton, uh, Campazzo, and uh, Najee. So, these guys, they're cheaper options, you know, t tournament options as well. So, if you get guys like, uh, especially if you get uh, Monte Morris out, then, you know, guys like that will become... Uh, really, really valuable because they're really, really thin over here. Uh, so uh, these guys will be in play, especially with uh, the uh, Monte Morris news. So you can look into those guys. Uh, on the Boston side of things, uh, Tatum and uh, Jalen Brown, you already know what it is with them. It's it, right along with Kemba Walker as well. Uh, I don't know how this game is going. I can't really put a pinpoint on how to, who's going to win this game, but um, <clears throat> Boston really needs a win badly. In the in the, in, the, in the absence of uh, Daniel Tice, if he happens to miss, then you know you can look at uh, Tristan Thompson to get more minutes on DraftKings. He is thirty nine hundred. Uh, then you get somebody like Robert Williams, who I probably won't be able to go to, but can put up fancy fronts in a hurry. Uh, it's just unfortunate that, you know, he's not even powerful to senior center eligible, but I probably won't be looking towards that anyway. 
So, like I said, for the Boston side, the usual suspects, uh, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Kimba Walker. Um, somebody like Peyton Pritchard just might get the start. He burned a lot of folks his last game, and that was really the last two games he burned a lot of folks. So, he's nothing but a GPP option as well. Um, moving on over to the New Orleans and Memphis side of things. Um, <clears throat> just the usual suspects that's out. Um, De'Anthony De Milton has been out for a few uh Few few games for a few games, you know. I thought he'd be back by now. Josh Hart sporting a Q tag. I think he still has back spasms. Desmond Bain is still out, and that's about it for the significant injuries. Oh, uh, Kenyon uh, Tilly, he might be coming back. He's got a Q tag or whatever, you whatnot. Um, New Orleans and Memphis, uh, Zion and um. Brandon Ingram, these guys have been doing what they've been doing all year long. Uh, Zion has been getting uh, really decent roll points, uh, like really getting buckets. And uh, the 20th shot attempts, 18 to 20, is what I like to see for him. I love to see that going forward. Uh, 26, 36, 29, 20, 29, 18, 28. So uh, the real points are there for him. You know what I'm saying? So when you're looking at the points and shit on the books and like that, you know, just make sure you check on them, man. Um, we we doing player props. He can get real buckets. He had eight assists, one of his highest of totals in quite few, quite a quite amount of games. It gives you a few uh, ass, I mean, eight rebounds. Then he gives you a few assists here and there. So uh, if he could ever up those up those uh, he'll up up those peripherals, he can really get into the fifty point fantasy range. Um, and then Brandon Ingram, he's in a good spot. Uh, he's going to take his shots. He took was upwards of, you know, 18, 20 shots a game. And that's, you know, that's what you want for him. Uh, and possibly even more. Uh, uh, he gets his raw points as well. Uh, he hasn't had under 20 points in quite some time. So that's something to look at. Um, but around value, um, the last few games, that's good to see. Uh, I don't mind to play the minutes are there upwards of 30 minutes every game. So there you have that. Um, Lonzo Ball, I just never get to him. I probably won't be able to get to him, even though he's strained together some, a nice amount of games. But he does know how to dip on you. And uh, I just never get to him. I probably not. And then um, Eric Bledsoe and Steven Adams, I just can't get to those guys. I just don't. Uh, Josh Hart either. Uh, those guys, uh Walker and the rest of them boys, they're, they're GPP options for me. Um, I could go for uh, Williamson and Brandon Ingram. I could play them in cash, but you know, it just get it just has to be uh, the slate dependent. You know how the slate plays out. On the New Orleans side, I mean on the Memphis side, uh, Jonas Valanciunas. Uh, I just about always like the spot that he's in. He just, I just, it's just a minus thing with me. So going up against Sacramento, uh, he had 45 fantasy points in 26 minutes. Uh, he's a very big guy, uh, double double worthy, but he has to get the minutes. Sometimes uh, the minutes can dip on him, you know. Uh, so, it, like, uh, if you, you know, if you really, really feel like he's gonna get those minutes, then you know he's a fire up. John Morant has been showing, hasn't been showing the upside that we want. You know what I'm saying? At that $7,500 price tag on, on DraftKings, at, on FanDuel, he's priced at, um, let me see, probably 73, 74, something like that. What? 71. So he's still at 71. Uh, he's hitting value just about at that price, just about every game. But, you know, we need to see some um, upside, man. Uh, but he has been getting a double double, if not close to it, his last five games. So that's some. That's something to uh, look at. <clears throat> the rebound, he's not a big-time rebounder, and he doesn't get that many steals, you know. So, uh, you know, it, we just kind of have to lean on him to get more points. You know what I'm saying? If he can hit, like, 10 field goals, a little bit better field goal percentage going on for it, then uh, he'll return a big, you know, if he can get hot from the field. So that's what we really need for him to do. Kyle Anderson, he's someone who can stuff the stat sheet, you know. Uh, at 17, uh, 16, uh, 6, 4, and 4 last game, uh, and the block, you know, he, he's going to contribute in almost every category, every game, and that's what helps his fantasy output. We love to see him in double-digit uh, 
of shot attempts uh, on a regular. But uh, he put up 45 fantasy points in a fast-paced matchup against uh, Sacramento last game. You'll get him at uh, what is his price on draft on FanDuel. You'll get him at 6,500. So he's priced similarly. Uh, Dylan Brooks, somebody who's shot dependent most of the time, uh, about 80% of the time, 90% of the time, all the time, shit. But, you know, 20 shots here, 13, 13, 20. You know, he takes some threes. You know, I don't know how reliable he is to be bet on prop bets, but, you know, uh, <clears throat> he will take his shots. <sighs> then you got Grayson Allen. He's somebody who's been playing a ton of minutes at 4,700 on DraftKings. Uh, he's played 30 minutes the last three games in the, in the absence of Bain and uh, Melton. Uh, to, uh, over 20 points in uh, his last four. Um, he does take a, a decent amount of threes. He took three, 10, five, I mean, 12, 6, 5, 5. You know, and he makes a few threes every game. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get there. Uh, he's priced at, um, on Fandle, he probably priced similarly. Let's see, 4900 You get him for 200 more on FanDuel. Um, Tyus Jones, I just can't get there. It's just, I just can't do it. Um, um, Brandon Clark came back the last game, played his first game in the last 10 games, in the last 10 days. Uh, he was productive in 22 minutes. He had 24 fantasy points, 13, 4, and 4. Uh, he's still priced up, though. I don't know what his minutes going to look like. Uh, he might be taking minutes from uh, Jonas Valentunas. I don't know. So that's something, you know, that's very iffy. And that's about it for the guys over here. Toronto and uh, Milwaukee. Uh, this should be a juicy game right here. Um, you know, with Toronto, you're going to be faced with the usual suspects. So uh, Milwaukee is still will still be without Drew Holiday. And then uh, OG Ananobi is doubtful. And then looks like all the significant guys are good to go. Um, ABC coming in at the top at 11K. He's always in play. Um, no need to touch on him. Um, depending on who guards Chris Middleton, it's going to be an interesting uh, situation right here. I like Chris Middleton. Uh, he's, you know, like I say, I always say he's, you know, he's coming with the model of consistency. Uh, these guys need a win over here in Milwaukee. They need a win bad. Uh, can Toronto beat them? Yeah, I mean they end, we seen we seen worse. You know, Toronto can tap them upside the head, but uh, these guys should be uh, Middleton and ABC should really, 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 really be coming out to kill today. So, uh, Divincenzo, if you're looking for somebody around that price range, I probably won't be able to get to him, but he is a, a decent little option at 5400. Um, I'm not too too happy about that. Bobby Porter's did get an extra amount of minutes. He had 28 minutes, close to 30. That's probably his, his highest uh, minutes total, uh, or one of the highest minutes total he's put up all season long. So he's something to be uh, keep an eye on. on. And uh, Brick Lopez, he's just at 4,700. You know, he, he he shoots a lot of threes. Um, I mean, you know, for, he hasn't. You know, he's not a big time rebounder, man. You know. He's just somebody, his price is kind of appealing to me right now. So that's why I'm really bringing him up. He's somebody I really never touch on. Uh, he's just out there, most of the time he's out there big for nothing. Like seven rebounds is the highest in quite some time since January 15th. Like, come on, dude. Two points, two rebounds against OKC. Definitely a tournament option. Uh, Brent Forbes, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Brent Forbes has been getting the start. Uh, he's been playing a decent amount of minutes. At 3,800, uh, he's somebody you can look at, you know, in tournaments. Uh, Pat Connington is a tournament play. Uh, he's been getting a decent amount of minutes, too, as of late. Uh, just turn cheap, cheap dart throws tournament options. Um, on the uh, Toronto side of things, you know, Fred Van V, Pascal Siakam, Kyle Lowry, Norman Powell, Chris Boucher and uh, Aaron Aaron Baines. Those are the usual suspects. Aaron Baines, <clears throat> they like to play the game with these minutes. It's hard to trust, trust uh, the coach, but it's, it looks like he's been getting 20 minutes a game over his last four or five. So, uh, you know, at 3,500, he's going to soak up a center spot. So, uh, 
I don't I don't know. I, the reason why I'm touching on the center because I like centers against uh, Toronto, especially good. I mean, against Milwaukee, especially good rebounding centers. Chris Boucher, he's 6,600 on draft kids. On Fanduel, he's 7,100. In the event that we think he's going to get the minutes, he should be a good play. Uh, I don't know how they're going to try to uh, guard uh, ABC. It is what it is, but you know you got to guess the minutes with Nurse. That's what that's what fucking kills me about Nurse. I can't stand him. You know, with these minutes situation in these bigs, he gets 14. He gets 18 minutes last game. Uh, against Minnesota, you know he's a good point for minute type of guy, man. But uh, Norman Powell, uh, decent spot. Uh, Norman Powell can pop off at any time. Under six, under seven K. He's sixty five hundred on uh, Fanduel. He can pop off at any time. If you're looking for a cheap option, who's going to get the minutes? Who you're sure of going to get the minutes? Uh, Kyle Lowry is the cheaper out of the big three that they have over here. Uh, I don't mind his matchup. That's you know a pretty decent matchup for him. On FanDuel, you'll get Kyle Lowry for seventy six hundred, so he's two hundred more. Very uh, Fred Van V is an interesting play on FanDuel. You get him, you get him for seventy five hundred, uh, seven hundred uh, less. And Pascal Siakam is priced similarly on both sides. Matter of fact, I think he's about yeah, he's actually seven hundred more. So uh, this should be a good game, man. Um, uh, uh, should be some points scored in this game. Um, so these players here, some guys you want to take the under on some, on some guys for this in this slate. You know you can look at them. Uh, L.A. Lakers and Minnesota. <coughs> uh, they'll be out with uh, uh, Lakers will be out will be without Anthony Davis for quite some time. So you you know you're gonna have to lean on guys like. Uh, uh, Paul Gasol, uh, Kyle, Kuzma, Kyle Kuzma, and uh, Montrez O'Hara over there for the bigs. LeBron James coming in at 10-1, 10-5 on FanDuel. Uh, you know he's in play. You already know that. Uh, almost had a triple-double last game. We know he's a triple-double threat every each, each and every day. Uh Right here around this time, he would on the tear. So, you know, he still does have that 60, 70 point upside. Going against, a, uh, he got a soft matchup right here. I don't mind the play. Going up against Minnesota. Uh, Kyle's Kuzmans, they jumped, they dragged his score up on, on DraftKings uh, to 7K in the event of uh, Anthony Davis being out. So, if you want to go to him, you can look at him over here on FanDuel for uh, 5,800. <coughs> Not a big fan of Kyle Kuzma's, but he has been playing okay as of late. Uh, Montrezl Harrell, uh, he should, uh, he should, he should see an uptick in minutes. Uh, but uh, over the over 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 time, um, they're going to need his production. Um, Minnesota is a pretty decent matchup for him, so. Uh, We'd love to see him spark some upside on that price tag. You can get him for a center over here, so that's something you're going to have to think about because there's some uh, decent center options over here. But you can play him uh, on DraftKings where uh, you can put uh, two centers in your lineup. And then you got guys like uh, Taylor Horton Tucker, THT. Uh, he's been seeing minutes here and there at 3,800. Uh, you know, he could spark some upside against this team, given the minutes. Uh, so, his minutes have been up and down a little bit. Last game against Memphis, I don't know why he only played six minutes, but, uh, you know, somebody who they want to try to uh, groom. And, I, I, you know, in tournaments, I don't mind to play. Um, and, you know, that's about it from the Lakers side of shit, man. It's just self-explanatory. Um Kyle Anthony Towns, uh, I don't mind the play. His minutes is creeping up, uh, 31, 34, 31, 32, 33. Uh, definitely in play um, at 9,300. On FanDuel, you'll get um, Kyle Anthony Towns for 9,500. So, fake decent price. I don't know if I'll be able to get there, but uh, he's in play. Malik Bleasy has been playing 
pretty good basketball, taking and making his shots, showing some upside. So uh, that's what we want to see. Like, you know, if he can get up in there in that 40, 43, you know, 45 range like he did against Charlotte, you know, that'll be awesome. Um, so they, you know, these two guys right here are soaking up the usage uh, on this team. Uh, Beasley and um, Towns. D'Angelo Russell's still out. Uh, Anthony Edwards has been, he's been getting the usage as well. And I really like it, you know. Uh, he's priced at 6K on DraftKings. Uh, one of these days he's going to pop off if he keep being aggressive like he is. On FanDuel, you'll get him for uh, 6K. So uh, price is the same on both sites. Uh, they're 15 to, you know, they're 15 to 18 to 19 shots. You know what I'm saying? He took 21 shots against uh, Charlotte. That's what we like. That's what we like. That's what I like. With, especially with Carl Anthony Towns being back, it makes them a little bit easier on the rest of the guys. Now, as we, <clears throat> he's seeing a low amount of minutes right now in the, in the, in the uh, uh, while, 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 uh, while Cat has been back. Uh, Jared Vanderbilt, he's somebody who got the start. I went to him. He can, he can, he, he can, he can contribute in, uh, uh, multiple different um, categories, so that's what makes him pretty valuable for fantasy. Uh, 12, 7, 2, 2. You know, last game at 4K, he's some somebody that you can consider. Uh, he's priced similarly on on DraftKings. His price is, I mean, on FanDuel, his price is uh, uh, 4K as well. So uh, a cheap option there. Uh, Rubio, I just can't get to him. Oh, I forgot to mention Dennis Schroeder. Uh, mention Dennis Schroeder. Uh, he's somebody who I actually can, you know, in this matchup. I think I can. I think I can get down with him in this matchup. Will I get there? I don't know. Um, and Ricky Rubio, I just can't. He's not showing any upside, but uh, look like his, you know, his assist totals could rise. While Cat has been back, uh, while Cat is there, you know, he can get a couple cheap assists. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's, you know, you know that that, that should help him out. Portland and OKC. Uh, uh, um, 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 Shaq Alex Alexander, uh, CJ McCollum, and uh, Nusha Nurtures, along with T.O. Mellon, Ariza, and uh, George Hill. Rodney Hill, Harry Giles, these guys. Uh, Collins just, you know, injury riddled both teams. So, uh, starting here at the top, Damian Lillard, I really like, you know, I really like his matchup. He gave these boys 50 ball last time he played. Uh, last time these two teams played upwards of, uh, and he played upwards of 30, 35, 36 minutes. So, uh, he, you'll get him similarly priced on both sites under 10K. Uh, sign me up. Um, Inez Cantor, uh, he gave these boys a 50-piece last time they played. So, uh, he's definitely in play. He's 7K on DraftKings. On FanDuel, he is uh, 6,600. So, I, I, I like that play. Um, you know, and then, you know, given how the slate is uh, playing out, uh, Mark Carmelo, he's been playing well. So, I don't mind him. You know, I don't mind him. He's going to get the minutes. Uh Right around value, uh, he can show you a little bit of upside on this on that price tag if he gets hot. And then you got guys like uh, Gary Trent Jr. Uh, Gary Trent Jr. He, I don't know who he'll see some defense from, but the minutes 36, 36, 37, 33, 35 you know, the minutes is there. The three point attempts is always there. He's been hitting them, he's been taking them and making them. So that's something to look out right there. Um, he doesn't have to give you 30 to hit value. So if you want to consider him, I don't mind. Uh, and, you know, I, that's about it, man. Keep an eye out on the Rodney Hood news. Uh, who is this called? Okay, that's my, that's my job. First, that's my... Sorry, that's my job. Um, first shift has been canceled. Uh, hopefully they cancel third shift. So uh, I'll be looking forward to that because I'm on third shift. Hopefully they cancel that. I'm sorry. But anyway, yeah. Um, on the uh, OKC side, um, Al Horford, 
I don't know if I'll be able to get there, but, you know, he's a savvy veteran. You know he can give you upside. If you want to get there, the choice is yours. Habneo Diallo, uh, keep an eye out on this situation if he starts or 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 or, in, or, or comes off the bench. But, you know, uh, six, he's 6,700 on DraftKings. On FanDuel, you'll get Diallo for 6K. So it's a little bit better price tag on FanDuel. Darius Bailey, he's in play. Um, Losers Dort, I don't play him. You know, he does spark upside. Uh, he shoots the three. Um, it's not doesn't make him at a high clip, but you know he shoots the three. Um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and then you got guys like. Uh, Williams, who I don't mind, I don't mind Williams. He's been playing upwards of 35 minutes or better, you know. So, and he's been playing really, really, really good. Um, I don't mind the play. Uh, I really don't mind this play. Uh, Justin Jackson, he's turned the corner for as of right now. Uh, last three, two or three games, he's been, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty good, man. So, you know, his shot attempts has went up 11 and 16. Uh, got a fairly decent matchup going against these uh, Portland uh, uh, defense is not uh, the best. Uh, 36, 30, 30, uh, over thirty friends, fan, er, over thirty fancy points the last two games. Mike Muscala, uh, Isaiah Roby, um, Isaiah Roby is a pretty intriguing play to me at four K. Uh, given the minutes, you know what I'm saying. Uh, he's somebody to keep an eye out on. And the last uh, game on the slate, you get Brooklyn and Phoenix. Uh, it's going to be one of the games everybody's going to be waiting for. Uh, uh, Brooklyn off a of back-to-back. And did they go to overtime last night? I believe they did. Uh, don't quote me on that, though. But anyway, uh, James Harden, Kyrie Irving, these guys are handling the bulk of the, of the, of the shoulder in the bulk of the load over here. You're going to get Kyrie Irving for... Not, 9900 on FanDuel and 11 k for uh, Harden on FanDuel. Really, from the Brooklyn side, those are the only two guys that I'll probably consider, man. I ain't looking at nobody else. Truth be told, I mean, it just is what it is. So, uh, you know, if you feel like you like anybody else from this, from here, uh, just, you know, let me know. Get at me in the comments. Um, that on, on, on the Phoenix side of things, you got Devin Booker and Chris Paul, DeAndre Ayton, uh, McCall Bridges. These three, these 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 four guys right here, they play all the minutes. So, Devin Booker, he's in a good right spot. I like the spot that he's in. Uh, he's been showing us a little bit, you know, these last five games. We're probably getting ready to start to see see the Booker that we want to see. You know what I'm saying? And and I like that. You know, I really do. You know. Uh, if he, you know, I, it, <clears throat> that 48 and that 54 and that 47, you know, that's pretty good. You know, you'll get him for uh, 8,300 on both sides. Uh, I really like that play. Chris Paul, I like to play. Uh, you'll get Chris Paul for 7,800 on both sides. Um, so, you know, don't mind if you want to take the under on these guys. Uh, you know, so uh, 37, 47, you know. 49, you know, he we know Chris Paul can give you the upside on that. And like I always tell you guys, um, uh, going up against Brooklyn, you know what it is. It's bigs against Brooklyn. Um, DeAndre Aiden is a really good rebounder. Um, I don't see why um, De um DeAndre Jordan didn't start last game. I'd imagine he'd probably start this game. Uh the battle of the DeAndres. But uh he's a pretty decent rebounder, um, for real, for real. Um McCall Bridges, he's just out there getting minutes. And, you know, uh, he can give you a little bit of upside, but his price is risen. I just don't understand it. You know, I, I would like him a little bit more on in the, in the 5K range. And on FanDuel, he should be in the 5K range. Let's see what his price is. Right. So if, uh, he's definitely in play for me on FanDuel at 5,300 if I decide to go there. And, um... Interesting play here is uh, Jay Crowder um, giving the event, uh, event of how things can play out. He's a pretty decent rebounder, you know, 8, 4, 14, you know, here and there. 
we know uh, that uh, Brooklyn doesn't rebound the ball well. Uh, you know, Crowder could spark some upside. Crowder does shoot the three. So if they ever need that, you know what I'm saying? Like last game against Orlando, he took 13 threes. You know, so he 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 will take take the three if he need if needed, um, and you know that's about it. You know, that's about it. Uh, Cam Johnson though, mm -hmm. <laughs> you'll get Cam Johnson for uh, 4K. I think he's 3900 on FanDuel if you're looking for a cheaper option. And that'll just about do it for this uh, video, guys. You know, stay stay tuned for my next video. I'm gonna bust out the prop player props and. Uh, and uh, prize picks. Uh, like I say, like and subscribe, man. Thank you all for uh, uh, coming out and viewing the show. Peace out.